OK, so here's a few basics about how to use Flame Painter 2. This is the new version uh, from Escape Motions. And uh, this is my first video on about computer software. So please bear with me on that. Um, so what happens is when you first open it, it'll be something like this. Um, you'll find that uh, you have File, Tools, Layers, View and the Help. So on here, this business here with the tools and all that type of thing, um, at basic level you probably won't even need to, to use this. This bit here is the undo and that type of thing, undo and redo, and you will need that. This here is how to control the uh, the brushes that you'll be using. Uh, again, generally speaking, that's something that you won't be using at basic level. Um, things like the normal blending and light and dark is the only ones on there um, at this level that you'll be using. So that's uh, basically on the left hand side. On the right hand side is the more interesting stuff which is the palette, the colour and the gradient. So you'll be keep swapping over depending on choice of uh, what you need. These are the gradients, you can actually make your own up um, but that's for another time. The colours um, all chosen down here. Um, basically just like a lot of other packages that you you may find on other editors and things like that. And down here is uh, the brushes that you use. Um, for me, most of these type of things are not really that that good. Really, the the usual one that is the default one, um, if I remember correctly, is this. And it's not something that I particularly use myself very often. Um, and that's generally speaking how that is. This here is also quite migraine inducing this thing, so you, uh, this swirly bit thing here, so you can turn this off by show brush dots, and you only see this, and it's it's like that, it's much better for my eyes actually. Um, and all down here you, you find all sorts of uh, things, you can actually add brushes, and you can actually delete the ones that you don't need. There's actually only about four or five brushes that I, I need, uh, that I use all the time. Um, most of these I, do, I don't at all. Um, they're just there for decoration purposes at the moment. So uh, the ones that uh, you know that you can do anything like this type of thing, and you know you just uh, mess about. But uh, the the ones that I find are most useful are uh, sometimes I use this flame the the default one, but not not very often is flamey trails this one here I use that most of the time most of the stuff that I use I just often use this thing called huge blue and when it means huge blue it's something like if I can just put that on there if you can see that it's some you find that it's a well it's huge blue but you can actually change the colors on that to anything you want on there so it's not you're not confined to anything like that um, other ones that's useful is the noise, and you can get some really nice effects with noise. And it, uh, it actually is a great camouflage for for things like photographs and that that uh, I use a lot. Um, this one next to a car, I've never really been able to understand what that that says, but uh, that's another one that's you know, I want to use a lot. This here rainbow, I don't use that at all. So. You can, you can actually delete them, but I'll uh, show you that shortly. Um, other ones I don't use is slow violet thing. But another one that I use all the time, and not just about every um, picture I do, every bit of artwork I do, is this thing, the smoke. And uh, it can take time in the default colour, but when you switch it over to things like gradients, and that's the the default, if you go to the gradients and uh, you find some really, it really quickens up then and uh, you can get some absolutely fantastic bits of artwork. Another one that's a nice, uh, is something called soft lines and this is a, a one that you probably would often see on things like screen servers and that, you know, things like Windows do and um, other bits and pieces and, and that's a that's a great feature 
But of course, we don't want to be always in black or white or anything like that. So what we can do is we can change that. So we go to File, New. Do you want to save changes? No. Um, so this is what you get when you, you want to change um, from your default. So you have black. You can have white if you like. You can get some nice effects with that. I tend to go for this custom. And uh, here's all your colors. And you can go up and down on the bar wherever you want to be and you can get some really really good stuff with that and uh, there's some nice things to be had on Flame Painter and it really is a, a program that's worth persevering with um, if you do that and you, it takes a few seconds to to come up on the computer there but uh, then I usually start off with something like smoke or if I'm doing a photograph I'll uh, I'll be able to um, do things and, and try to blend them in and that type of thing. So you, you can see here you can see some nice formations and and all sorts of things with uh, with the smoke. Um, and that's all it's called smoke. It does what it does. But you can actually change the color on that from the default grey type of style. Uh, you can change it to as blue. And that's uh, you can get some really smashing effects with with this type of thing, and then you can you can put it under gradient, and you can actually change the gradients to how you want. If you wanted a little bit more of say red, you can put red there, or you can put green there, or however you want. It's uh, a really nice feature. There's some, some beautiful stuff to be had on this program, and uh, you can go around and, and see some really there's never any two pictures the same. That's uh, that's one thing. So you cannot really replicate it. Um, so yeah, you can you can start to see nice formations and smoke and, and that type of thing. And another um, the other one that the soft lines that can come into play. And uh, and you can get some really really cool features. And you, again, you can if you and do that for example um, you can actually put this into gradients and any gradient you want we'll put try the greeny blue and of course like I've just said any we'll try the middle one there and you can put red into that into the mix there so it's it, it is just like a palette like you, you would when you're painting and you can get as it says soft lines um, great for a lot of artwork and and uh, you can just play around with it like that. Everybody has their own way of, of working. Um, with the soft lines, I wouldn't recommend too much of it. I think too much of it's uh, well, too much. Less is more in my my view. And you can get some really nice effects if you just use little bits of things. And sometimes with with this program, it's just touches of of. Uh, of brushes like this one it's just touches it's just it's it's just getting the mouse and if, if you if you really go into it and things like that you, you tend to overdo it on that you know um so it's just just having that feather touch um uh, flamey trails is another one and if you're going around something for example if you're going around a photograph and you want a little bit flash um you can do that and this is the type of thing this is the default orangey fire color but you can change that like I say you can change anything in this program um, and you can get this type of effect I hope you can see that on there and you can get some really really nice stuff and, and that's it is starting to take effect and it blends in with the background you can have any background as I said before um, and you can just, just even in a few minutes, you can you can come out with some really really smart stuff, and uh, it's just building it up. And um, the one thing that it doesn't have is it doesn't have an, anywhere on the tools, it doesn't have uh, text, and you would have to put that into your your text editor, um, which is not really a problem. I don't find that a problem. Um, I just put it into Zona and that does the, the text for us. But um, I hope you found something there that's in, of interest. 
you just uh, save your save as as normal and this comes up with the default flame painter works but all you would do there is you put it into either PNG or JPEG and either one of them works well and you just call it whatever you want green works green artworks and there you go and you just put them on the on the desktop like that so yeah so I hope there's something there that uh, let's take that uh,